Today we're back trying on more pairs of jeans and honestly I'm so excited about this one because this has been one of my favorite brands since it came out in what like 2018, 2019 or something and that is Wild Fable from Target. We all know I love them. When that line first came out I literally think I bought everything. Like I love it so much. I think it's really affordable. It's very accessible because it's available at Target. I mean accessible for people who have Target. Sorry Canadians and other countries. And I've actually personally had a lot of luck with Wild Fable jeans. I feel like they just fit me and my body type very well. So I decided to try on more. They have recently released a lot more different styles like wide leg and boyfriend and mom and dad. The whole family if you will. So I'm going to try them all on for you. Give you my honest opinion. I will leave my measurements in the description box below in case you're interested but I did order all of these jeans in a size 16 and I don't like to talk about measurements in videos so as not to trigger anyone. So trigger warning if you are going to be looking in the description box below I will be including my measurements just for reference because so many people demand to know my measurements so they're down there in case you want to know and yeah I'm really excited to just kind of play around and hopefully find my new favorite pair of jeans you know as you've probably been able to tell I've been on a hunt for just like kind of a really cool semi fitted at the waist semi wide leg pair of pants that isn't like Jenko's from the 90s but also isn't like just every other pair of mom jeans so let's jump in hopefully I find one all right so today we are going to be trying on four pairs like I mentioned and the pairs that we're gonna be going through are the highest rise baggy jean, the highest rise straight jean, the dad jean, and the mom jean. The first pair I'm grabbing right off the top is called the highest rise baggy jean. I did get these in a size 16. The one thing I will say about Wild Fable is some people do find themselves having to size up. I know when I was a size 12, I was wearing a size 14, but I do think that they have like adjusted their sizing a tiny bit. So just keep that in mind. I did order these in a 16. We're going to see how they go. I actually do kind of like this darker wash. I'm very, very gravitated towards lighter wash jeans. It's kind of just what I'm comfortable with. So this is outside of my wheelhouse, but we're going to try it. These retail for $25. Most of the jeans from Wild Fable cap off at $25. I think that's extremely affordable for jeans. They do have the tiniest bit of stretch, but not a lot. So keep that in mind, but with wide legs, hopefully it'll be easier to bend over. I'll test it out. So, okay, let's see how this goes. We're back here again, taking off my pants on camera. Okay, so far so good. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, wait. <laughs> when they said high rise, they meant it. Wow. Whoa. I have thoughts. First of all, these are possibly like, dare I say, the highest rise jeans I think I've ever tried on. I never thought this day would come. This is like up my back. It's basically to my bra. Like I just, I'm in shock. That's the very first thing that I'm noticing. And like, okay. I'm not gonna lie, it is giving a little bit of Jinko vibes. Like I actually do kind of feel like I would travel around the world watching Insane Clown Posse or whatever that band was. Um, so I don't know how I feel about it, but maybe styled with the right thing, I would be a little bit more into it. But my first initial look at these, and it may be different on camera than in person. My first initial look at these is kind of like, hmm, Hmm. It is giving 90s, mid 90s realness, you know? So I don't know, this is what they look like in the back. They are just very, very wide leg and they're super comfortable, like very easily movable. I'm mobile in this. I can bend over super easily, no issues here. It's not cutting into me. I'd be able to squat down and tie my shoes. I'd be able to, you know, read a book down here if I want to. I'd even honestly be able to sit which is kind of, that's, that's new to me. I think it's also because of these big holes in the legs. So I don't, I should probably get up. <laughs> I don't know if I like these because of how comfortable they are or if I actually like the way they look. I don't know. Let me try on like a pair of platforms. Just slip them on and see how I would feel about them with shoes. Uh, I don't know if they're perfectly my style. I feel like I need to wear one of those wallet chains and it completes the look. I don't know. Do you guys like it? Let me know what you think. I think because they're just so different 
from what I'm used to that maybe that's like why I feel this way they're not bad at all but I mean I would argue that if these aren't the highest rise jeans I've ever worn then they're up there they're in the top three for sure they're super duper comfortable so if this is the style that you're into right now and you're looking for this very Gen Z type of jean go for it 25 bucks are you kidding I think it's gonna maybe take some adjusting and like styling and coming up with the right thing to wear it with and shoes to style it with etc I've kind of been considering doing a video where I come up with a clothing piece from my closet and then I ask you all to style it for me and see what you come up with I don't know let me know if you'd be interested in that down below as far as the sizing goes these fit fine like if not a little bit loose but I do think they are supposed to fit a little bit loose I could size down to a 14 in these if I wanted them to be like super tight but I honestly think this is my good size so I would say order your typical size I would say if you're in between sizes size down so like if you're kind of teetering on a 14 and a 16 I would order a 14 either way the fit is pretty good I would say size 16 was a good choice for this one next up I think this one was actually pretty recommended by you all and these are the highest rise straight jean these are size 16 as well and they are $22 these are much more of a light wash jean and they have some distressing on the front although the distressing is like a very beige color instead of like a white fabric because these are a bit stretchy so not my favorite thing in the entire world but if these are as high rise as the ones I'm wearing right now I'm gonna be very happy this baggy pair that I'm wearing is a zipper fly but I noticed that this one is a button fly I always find it so interesting like why why are they different for what reason I think it's is it just aesthetics because this one's covered up so I don't know like what the actual reason is and why they switch it up I also noticed right off the bat holding these that they do actually look like a straight pair of jeans I've I've kind of noticed that in a couple of videos I've tried on a straight jean and it, there's nothing straight about it but these do look like pretty straight down so let's see so far they're sliding right on I love that so many buttons oh okay right off the bat I will say that these fit me like a glove like they actually fit perfect they're not too tight they're not too loose they're like pretty stretchy I would say definitely able to like bend over definitely able to sit down kneel down like these are actually even comfier than the last ones this material also feels like a lot more lightweight than the last pair those were kind of like heavy duty they were a thicker pair of jeans even though they had stretch to them these do feel a little bit thinner I know a lot of people in my comments have mentioned buying pairs of jeans and then like the crotch gives out over time from like thigh chafing and stuff I definitely used to experience that when I wore jeans to my serving job so at least this way they're only like $22 I don't know I think that that's pretty good I do feel that these are really high rise and one thing I do notice is that wild fable used to literally like end their zipper right here and I didn't remember that for the last pair like it was kind of something that slipped my mind but literally they used to have a zipper that was like this short and they definitely have elongated it so it seems like they've listened to feedback which is good I think that these fit me great like they <laughs> I think I've tried on so many jeans I've become numb but I think these would be a fantastic pair of everyday jeans I just don't know how I feel about the distressing on them like I don't know if it's my favorite but like I like where they cut on my ankle I like the way they fit my figure they are nice and high-waisted so I could wear even the croppiest of crop tops with this so I definitely think I'm gonna keep these I do think my butt looks pretty cute in them just throwing that out there just a little extra something and like now that I'm kind of thinking about it these have to be the comfiest pair of jeans that I've tried on in a really long time like the comfort is really there I do think these would be really cute with kind of like a high top or boot or something like that because they are a little bit looser around the ankle and now that I'm thinking about it I'm like are they supposed to be cropped or am I just tall I think both but I actually do kind of like where they sit so I don't know I think I'm gonna have to keep these I think these are pretty dang cute especially for $22 let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think about this pair but these are pretty good like I actually am pretty impressed the more I'm wearing them the more I love them next up we have the dad jean and I don't know if these these don't say highest waist so I think they're just high-rise dad jeans I also ordered these in a size 16 and these are $25 and these feel more similar to 
to the first pair and that they're a bit more heavy duty, but not stiff. They still feel stretchy and actually these probably feel the most stretchy of any pair so far. I'm very curious to see what these are going to look like on me because we started with the dark wash, which I was kind of like, mm, I don't know about that. Then we moved on to the light wash and now we have like a mid wash. I tried to get a variety. So I'm really hoping that these don't look like I'm just going to put on a pair of Costco jeans, if you know the vibe I'm saying. <laughs> Sometimes I put on these darker wash pairs of jeans and I'm like, these just do not look good on me. So I don't know. We're going to see. First impressions are that they feel really good though. So let's try them on. These don't have any distressing on them and they have a zipper fly. Okay. Again, like all of these are really honestly going on like butter. Like it's so smooth. I mean, so here's... <laughs> The dilemma I keep running into with these sort of like dad jeans, right? Or these 90s or wide leg or baggy jeans, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if I'm ever going to be happy with them because the way these fit in the waist is perfect. Perfect. Like, mwah, don't you ever change. But then with the legs, I do kind of wish they were the slightest bit longer because I do feel like that's kind of the style of the dad jean. And if I could like really make them my dream pair of jeans, I would make the bottom part of the leg a little bit wider. But again, these are like a dad jean, not a baggy or a wide leg jean. It is kind of confusing with all of the different styles. But yeah, I don't hate these. I really don't. Dare I say I even like them, but I just don't know how I feel about the wash on me and I don't know how I feel about this specific cut on me on my personal body I'm not speaking for anyone else but they're comfortable as hell like I have to say of all of the jeans try-ons that I've done recently these three that I've tried on so far are the most comfortable by far. They've got the comfort, they've got the price, they could do a little bit of work with size inclusivity. I believe they only go up to like a size 22 or 24 in their denim, but like holy shit, these are so comfortable. Again, super easily bendable, squattable, snappable. Like legit, I have not tried on a pair of jeans three in a row where I've been able to do that in years in years. Let me try on the shoes again and see how we feel. Again, it's like, I'm just, I'm a tall gal, so I do kind of wish they were the slightest bit longer, but they do still look really freaking good. They are like the tiniest bit loose around the waist, but I, again, think they're supposed to fit like that. I think that's the dad jean style. So you could even wear them like lower if you wanted, if you wanted to do that low rise thing, which I do not, but you do have like the option to do that. So I guess they're kind of interchangeable in that way. But yeah, I just wish they were a little bit longer and maybe a little bit lighter wash. So I'm gonna keep playing around with Wild Fable and see what I can come up with. But these are pretty damn good. So now that we've tried on dad, last but not least, we have mom. And these definitely feel like the most rigid pair out of any of them. And these do say highest rise, which is good. So like the first two pairs, I think these are gonna be a lot more of a high rise. And these are in a size 16. They are $22. So either 22 or 25 for all of these pairs. And I do feel, a tiny bit of stretch but I would say by far these are the least stretchy feeling in my hands anyway. The thing that I have noticed about darker jeans is that they do usually run smaller so we will see. I'm a little nervous about these. I don't know why like looking at them I'm like are these gonna fit me? I don't know. We are gonna end this off with another zipper fly. I forgot to mention that before. Trying to not get my feet stuck in these holes and again just like a freaking glove. They have freaking done it again. Like this is so good. I want to say Wild Fable mom jeans were like the first pair of mom jeans I ever bought and I love them. I wore the shit out of those mom jeans. I wore them so freaking often. I wore them in England. I wore them in San Diego. I wore them in LA. I've, I wore those things everywhere until I grew out of them and so maybe this might have to be my new pair. They do feel slightly tight around the calf but that's kind of like because I've been wearing baggy ones. They fit around the waist perfectly. They're not too tight. They I mean, speak for itself. I actually do really like the length of these. I like a little cropped moment. I like showing a little ankle, just a little, little cheeky ankle, you know? So now for the bend test, I think it's pretty good. There's definitely a little bit of like stabbing going on, but not bad. And then to bend over, I honestly think that these giant holes in the knees are really helping because if these weren't here, I would not be able to do this right now, but they are way more stretchy than I thought. So that is something that like at first I was like, mm, I don't know about these because the feeling of them isn't as soft. So it does feel like they're more rigid, but honestly they're pretty stretchy as well. 
I can do the can-can. I think it's pretty awesome that there isn't one pair in this that I'm like, ew, oh my god, what was I thinking? Or like, I don't know, usually, usually, when I'm doing a try-on and I order all four pairs of jeans in the same size, I can run into some issues because some run really small, some run really big. But honestly, like, these are pretty true to size. I mean, they're gonna fit you differently depending on your proportions and whatnot, but I, like, I think that this was pretty consistent. I feel like I would be kicking myself if I didn't keep this pair of jeans because they're so inexpensive and they fit me so well. Like I genuinely don't think I have tried a pair of jeans in a while that has honestly fit me this well. This was honestly so much fun. Huge confidence booster too. I feel pretty hot, dare I say. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. All of the jeans that I tried on in this video, if they're available, will be linked in the description box below. And yeah, I just love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here, for stopping along on your journey on the internet today. It means a lot to me. I am sending you all of my love and I will see you in my next video.